What is going on guys? My name is Alex. Welcome to the video. Today we're going to be talking about speed ramping. No, not that kind of speed ramping. We're talking about speed ramping in our real estate videos. Now, if you're in some of these Facebook groups like I am where we talk about real estate videography, you'll see a ton of hate online about real estate videography using speed ramps, or I guess just speed ramps in general. It's like, it's a bad thing. Um, but I guess anything is a bad thing if you have too much of it, right? Like, like this water, I'm trying to drink a gallon of water every single day. And if you drink too much water, that's bad for you too. So everybody needs to chill out. Speed ramps are cool. Okay, before we go any further, I need you guys to help me out a little bit. All of this is free. I'm giving my time to you guys so I can teach you something, bring you a little bit of value. And if it did bring you a little bit of value, please just hit the subscribe button or the like button if you're already subscribed. That's it, I'd appreciate it. If you wanna share it with somebody, that's awesome too. But you know, I think this is the fee, you know, it's, it's free content, so the fee should be just hit the subscribe button and the like button and we'll be good. That's like a good mutually beneficial relationship, you know, so hit the subscribe button, don't forget. All right, let's get into it. All right, so today we're going over three different types of speed ramps. The first one is a transition. So we're going to be going from one clip to the next with a speed ramp transition in the middle, kind of like a ramp down. And I'll show you what that ramp is in just a second. The next one is going to be just one clip where we're going to speed up uh, in the middle and then slow back down. So it kind of helps you move through a scene. And then the third one is going to be a mix of both of those. So it's gonna be a little bit of a longer clip, but what you're gonna do is speed up, slow down and speed up again to go into the next clip. So let's go ahead and work on that very first transition one. All right guys, so you will see we are in Premiere Pro here. I have these two clips that I'm going to be using for moving into this speed ram transition. All right, so this first one right here, we are entering this house. So you can see we're at the front door, we're moving in, and then over here is a the living room, right? But we're only going to be using this first section of it. So, all right, so let's go ahead and hit I to start our selection, move into the house, and right there, that's all we're going to use. Go ahead and bring that into the timeline. All right, the next clip is going to be of the living room. You can do this however you want. You know, you don't have to transition from one room into the next room or whatever it may be. You can use it however you want, but this is how I'm choosing to use it in this tutorial. So I want to start with kind of of a wider view showing everything and then we're going to move into this little bit tighter view of the living room and uh, transition right into that so what we're going to do is grab it right here uh, maybe right no hold on let's see what's a good spot um i like the i like the beginning let's do right here all right that's good and none of these clips are color graded or anything right now so we will worry about that afterwards all right guys, so now we have both clips on the timeline and we will be able to actually kind of emulate what this transition is going to look like. So what I'm going to do first is go ahead and make each of these 50% speed. So I have a shortcut on my keyboard where I just hit Command R and it brings up this box right here where I can change my speed. If you didn't do that, what you would do is right click on the clip and then you would scroll to speed slash duration. So what I'm going to do is put these side by side and then just grab this and we can kind of scrub through and get an idea of what we're about to do. So it's gonna go slow, 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 and then speed up and then slow, slow, slow. So you can get the idea there that we're coming into the house and zooming into the living room area. Um, and that's going to be, you know, that's gonna be the little section that we're going to create. So what we're going to do is hit this little FX button right here, double click on that, go to this time remapping and hit speed. And that will allow us to adjust the speed of it right here on the clip. So if I do this or this, you know, I can slow it down to 32% right there. Um, you can adjust all of the speed right there. So what we want to do is kind of pick the spot close to where the clip is going to be ending. So I don't have any music on this, but imagine the music stops right around here. What we would want to do, or not stops, it's like on a beat right there. What we would want to do is hit somewhere around here, hit command and then click on that little line and it will put a break in it where you can change the speed on either side of that break. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and bring this up to like seven, 700 to a thousand percent, something like that. Um, and then you will see that you have this kind of carrot looking thing, this arrow, and you can split that. So what we will do is if it will grab it, come on, come on, zoom in a little more. There we go. So we can grab that and then you have these two, this anchor point and these two uh, little tags or whatever that you can grab on there. So if you grab it like this, you can see that this is where we're making our actual ramp. So we are going to do that. 
uh, move it a little bit closer, and then we're gonna do the same thing over here. Let's bring this guy over. And let's go ahead and hit the FX, time remapping, speed, uh, pick a point on here, and then drag this side up. Uh, let's do another like 769, perfect. Uh, and then we will grab this, move it over, click on it, and then drag this top one over like that to make our nice smooth ramp. So this is just a guess whether this will look good or not. There's, there is definitely an art to this. Um, I found that like the closer you get these to the end and beginning of the clip, the smoother it looks. Um, but you will definitely have to play with it quite a bit. So let's go ahead and see what this looks like. Not too bad. Um, I mean, I think it maybe could go a little bit faster, but I mean, I think you guys get the idea. That's a pretty good, yeah, that looks pretty good right there. So again, this is an art. You certainly uh, can play with it as much as you would like, but that is how you do that speed ramp transition. All right, so the next one we are going to do is just gonna be one hump right in the middle of one clip. It's not a transition, it is just speed ramping in the middle of a clip. And I use this a lot of times when I'm trying to show, just like in this one, a kind of proximity of where the house is with a nice big drone shot. Uh, and then move in towards the house and not waste all of the time in between. Uh, that's a good reason to do it. Maybe you have a good walking clip where you're, you're ninja walking through a kitchen and you wanna start at the beginning of the kitchen and kind of move through to the sink or something like that. Um, that could be a good opportunity to do it. Um, I have some friends in this industry that use this all the time. They do it very well, very tastefully. Um, I'm not, uh, I don't typically do that with my videos. I usually use them for the purposes that I just said, but you can use it for any number of things. But let's go ahead and grab this clip right here uh, and see what we can do with it. So as you can see in the beginning of the clip, you are able to see the river here and the ocean on the other side. And it's giving you a good perspective, like look at where this house location is, right? Uh, and then the end of the clip here is the house. So right in the middle here is the house that I am shooting. And so I'd like to be able to bring them from here to here and it not take you know 15 minutes to do so. So let's go ahead. What I like to do is always speed down the clip to 50%. I know a lot of people do it differently, um, but let me let me explain what I'm trying to do. So let's bring this whole clip to 50%. And then instead of it being kind of confusing, I actually nest the clip uh, from there. So it's a nested sequence at this point, And then I will go ahead and do the time remapping and speed. Um, and that just makes it to where this is now the 100%. It's kind of a little bit easier to think about in your head as you're like changing the numbers and whatnot. You don't have to do it that way. You do not have to nest it, but it is an option. So from here, you are going to want to make uh, two different points on here. So it depends on where you want it to do it. Um, but if you are going obviously to some music, you will have to use those cues, those different beats within the song to adjust off of. Uh, right here, we're not using any music, so don't have to worry about that. But let's just say, you know, we want to go, okay, that's good right there, and then uh, start to zoom in. And then we want the ending part to be like right here. So everything in between, we want to be going quite a bit faster. So let's go ahead and bring up that middle. Let's bring it up a lot. like. 2000% to start, something like that. All right, you will see this looks uh, like just this weird hump in the middle. It uh, doesn't look like anything yet. And let's go ahead and play it. Uh, let it render real quick. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, let's play it. And it's gonna look pretty strange. Whoop. There was zero smoothness to that at all, but kind of gives us an idea of what it's gonna look like. So let's go ahead and separate these out. If I can grab that correctly, there we go. And what we want to do is make a point. So if you have these two in the middle pretty far apart, like if they're like this and you're playing it in, it makes it feel a little weird in my opinion. I always try to bring it like to a point in the middle uh, like this. And you know, again, this is an art. You can do it however you would like, but I've just found personally that that makes the best looking footage. So let's go ahead and click on each one and make our little ramp. Uh, that looks good. So now we got a hill instead of a steep mountain. Um, and let's go ahead and see what that looks like. Let it render one more time. Okay, here we go. Go smooth and then zoom in. And there we are going smooth over it. And then you can cut to another scene from there.
So this is actually a clip that could be a pretty good scenario for our next uh, speed ramp that I'm gonna go over where you would make that little hump and then boom, shoot into the next one. Um, but I have another clip that I'm gonna show you guys for that. So let's go ahead and go to this clip right here. Um, I like this one. It's a little different style. I'm kind of moving along the side of the house with the drone here. So as you can see, moving along, and then I kind of end at the front door. Um, I like this shot. It came out pretty well. Uh, it was a perfect day too, like the sky and everything. It was great. So I'm going to do the same thing, change the speed to 50%. I'm going to nest it just like that. Uh, I have these shortcuts. It makes your life so much easier. I highly suggest making yourself some shortcuts on your keyboard. And then let's go ahead and play with it. So we want this first part to be slow. Uh, we gotta go ahead and make time ramping speed. And then we'll go ahead and set our point there. We want it to go, uh, maybe to, maybe to there. So this part right here is going to be sped up a lot. And then we're gonna wanna slow down and then speed up again. So this kind of gives you a representation of what we're doing right here. So let's go ahead and get the numbers right on it. So we'll wanna speed up quite a bit. Let's say maybe a thousand percent. And these are guesses and um, you can do whatever you want. Again, it is art. It is, uh, there's no rule to what percentages you need to use for this. Um, but these are kind of similar to what I would typically do. So, and then this transition here, let's do like, I don't know, 700 ish percent and then go ahead and do that. So this will give you guys an idea. We're slow right here, speed up, slow down, and then speed up again into the next clip. So let's go ahead and make the next clip, maybe the, this first one right here that we originally had. So we'll like shoot into the house, you know? Let's make that 50%. Um, and we'll worry about that one in just a second. So let's go ahead and see what this looks like. We're moving slow down the road and then speed up and slow down. It's not rendered, sorry, but, and then speed up. And so that could definitely use a little bit of work. I think we need to make this beginning part shorter. I think this needs to be faster, maybe like 2000. Um, and then this one certainly needed to be faster. So let's do that and see what that looks like. Let's render it out this time. Okay. Not bad, not bad. All right, I think this final part though needs to be faster still. Let's make it a lot faster, something like that. And then let's go ahead and smooth out these ramps now that I think we're pretty much where we want to be. Smooth out this one. Okay, and let's try that again. Okay, moving nice and slow. Boom, and then slow down and boom. All right, so that's pretty good. And then we know that this clip is entering the house. So let's bring it back a little bit so we can show more of the doorway there. Okay, so that's beginning. Uh, it's not going very smooth though. I think the smoothness kind of starts there. So let's do that. And then let's go ahead and nest it. Time remapping, speed, and then we want the very first part of this to be the fast part because we are transitioning into it just like the very first speed ramp that we did. So let's go ahead and set a point there, bring this up, and let's go ahead and make the, the ramp part of it. And then click on this, delete, delete the space. Okay, now let's see what that looks like. Okay. Not bad. I think that came out pretty good. If that was all color graded and nice looking, I think it would be, um, I think it'd be a good little intro to a video there. So that's it guys, that's it for speed ramping. Those are my three that I use all the time. Um, do you have another kind of speed ramp that you guys like to do? Let me know. Was this a good tutorial? Did it suck? Let me know. Um, trying my best over here. Remember the fee guys, hit the subscribe button. I appreciate you watching and I will catch you in the next one. Peace.